Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Raptor cannibalism. So, dinosaur eating dinosaur cannibalism, right? Triceratops eating a triceratops. I don't know if they're meat eaters or not. It's, no. This cannibalism that this game is referring to, wait for it, worse than incest. It's cannibalizing yourself. You literally eat yourself in this game. The most strict, literal interpretation and definition of cannibalism has to be the cannibalization of yourself, right? Brilliant! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, game salute. I don't know. When I first got into gaming, I don't hear all the news. I don't read all of it. Game salute got kind of a bad rap. I think their boxes are nice. I love the tuck boxes they put in there. Um, they did nothing personal, which I think is fantastic. I love the artwork they use. They produce games so well. I don't know the history of it. Uh, fill me in if you want. I will look at a game salute games because it's a game salute. I'll be honest. I, they, they don't sell them at cool stuff, so I don't get a lot of them. I always have to buy them secondhand or through a, a different way. I buy the majority of my game through cool stuff, to be honest. I live here in Orlando, and they're, they're right up the street. Um... This is a terrible game. I don't know how this game got made. Um, but it's a take that game, which isn't for me. So if you like take that games, this may be just for you. It was so lucky and so swingy based on that luck. And the points were so far and few between that you know a, a bad round could really hurt you. And somebody attacking you at the wrong could be really bad. Now my copy comes with the Mythos, Mythos expansion. Which adds some extra cards, not a big deal. Um, this is a take that game with dinosaurs where the theme doesn't really make sense. Okay. Dinosaurs are evolving, getting tentacles and fins and tiger. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Put that aside. Why the heck would you eat yourself to get more calories? And then when you eat your tiger paws, your dinosaur paws are back. Totally bizarre. Um... This is a weird one. This game is just weird. Uh, it has a lot of luck. You're going to pull these jungle cards out, and it's going to be like boom, boom, boom. If you get the right combination, you got a whole bunch of stuff to buy things. If somebody got a whole bunch of predators they can't fight yet because it's the first round, totally hosed. The only catch-up mechanic really is that they can fight you later, but if you're getting a lot of these cards and buying extra parts, theoretically, you'll be able to defend yourself a little bit better if you're smart. If you're getting ahead, start buying a lot of defense, right? That makes sense. Um, otherwise, this is probably what I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pass on or try before you buy, or at least when you're done playing it, say, hey, the guy tried to warn me and I wouldn't listen. Um, the catch on it is battle sharks, eat cupcakes, grow tentacles. Okay. Velociraptor. No, it's Velociraptor. Cannibalism. A card game of survival, mutationing, and eating your friend. If this sounds fun at all when you look through it, so be it. But we found just too luck-based, too swingy, not a lot of fun, and the jokes worth then pretty quickly. Although it was really fun to have like the different dinosaurs with tiger feet and a Cthulhu head and wings and silliness to find, right? Uh, Going to be a pass on me. I'll be purging this one. Components for La Velociraptor cannibalism. You're going to see a pretty colorful, playful cover, which you know should tell you a little bit about the game. You got Cthulhu arms, bunny ears. You got some steampunk stuff, some penguins and cupcakes for 
Lord knows why. So it tells you you're playing with dinosaurs, but also going to be playing with silliness. You are going to get an expansion the box, the Mythos expansion. That's just a one page little rule book. You will get the rules, which are kind of spread out, not very well organized, uh, but very colorful and get you through it. For such a simple game, this is rather large. You will get a number of different characters you can choose. I'll go through some of these. Reginald. Now, this is the starter things you'll be starting out with there. The rest of them all play the same. There isn't any difference other than the way they look. There's Mortimer. Grandpa Theobald. Okay. And these are just really played for humor. Ace. And, of course, Brian. You know, classic cold cuts. Julian with the Cthulhu going on. Sprinkles, he's known for his rabbit ears. Randolph, who's fairly insane. And everybody's favorite, Raptotron 2000. You have Iggy, classic Iggy. And Fleet Captain Morgan, the pirate. Peg leg, hook, parrot, patch, crossbones, every cliche you could think of. You're going to get a timer. It's only used if somebody's going too slow. You're going to get a number of climate cards, which will trigger the end of the game and powers for the round. Some are good, some are bad, some in the game. You have these cardboard eggs. This is what you'll be collecting mostly to get victory points. They're very nice and just, you know, regular run the mill cardboard. You are going to get a number of cards that will be part of the meat locker. And these will be body parts that you will get. Be able to attach. And this is the skill set here that you're going to need, the cost, and sometimes you'll see powers at the bottom. It's kind of how they're set up. Lots of legs, there's a tail, some wings. There was a head that just went flying. It's wings, feet, wings, a head. Uh, and then this guy. Yeah. So, always the same three stats. You can see that they're a little bit different of how they play, and you'll make those decisions as you play. And then you'll get a stack, a giant stack of jungle cards. And there's plenty of variety in these cards. I don't have any 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 complaints about the variety in this game. Let's get a number of these out. And you'll see a little puppy. That's something you'll eat. Bunnies, carrots, penguins. There's an event card that could be in there. Uh, the worried rider. More carrots, more eggs, honey. So you have prey things, things that you fight. These are predator cards and event cards. So uh, everything is fairly nice. They shuffle pretty well. Uh, maybe a tad on the thin side, but these are these are good. These will last you a very long time. Uh, the components are actually fairly good. It's a very well made game. Game Salute usually puts out very well produced games, and they do so here also. The rules were a little confusing. I don't think they were very coherent. Um, but maybe a little bit longer than they need to be. Some cheat sheets would have been nice for everybody. Uh, otherwise, if you sit down, you'll get through it. It's not very complicated. Just, just put the cards out for it. It's a very easy game. And once you play it, you'll be like, what? I had trouble with this? What the heck is wrong with me? Because most of the rules are going to be really on the back of the rule book and then on the cards themselves. So during the game, when the game starts, you're going to pick out one character that you'll be. Like I said, they all act the same. Um, you put that down in front of you, and you'll get a random part that you'll put out. And basically these cards are going to add to your speed, attack, or your defense. And they will require so many calories per turn, and sometimes these have little powers at the bottom. So, alrighty, you're covering up the pirate there. So now you have three, because that's zero, you have five attack and four defense. That's how your guy is. So, each round, uh, at the beginning of each round, you are going to turn over one of these climate cards and only sort there's a little bit there's not that many of these but you'll use them all during the same game 
So all players with the avian body part lose one egg per avian body part, and, which just so happens to be what I had. So I, that would screw me. And you keep playing until the end of the game, which is the volcano card. So one of these will come out each time. And so players with more than 400 calories stored in their stomach must discard the entire contents, the obesity epidemic. So these will do different things. Just kind of screw with you. You really have no idea what's going to come out with those cards, and they just screw with you. Um, if you had any eggs, the first thing you do is if you had any eggs in the nursery, they become available. So when you first steal an egg from somebody, yes, this is a take that game. Uh, they're in your nursery. They're, they're safe until your next turn. Then they come out and they can be stolen. And the eggs are going to be victory points. And you'll have a few victory points that will come up on these cards. But for the most part, they're going to come from your eggs. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to hunt. Uh, whatever your speed is, in this case, three... I'm going to take three jungle cards, and I will have these here. If they're prey, then you just beat them, and, and you get however many calories are on there. If they're... Oh, these are wrong cards. If they're a predator card... Let's see if I can find a predator card here, like this one. Then you have to be able to beat her with attack or defense higher than that and if you do you get the 500 calories if you don't then sometimes you'll lose stuff but sometimes you won't so Hydra 800 calories it is what it is every once in a while an event will pop up PMS you cannot reproduce during this turn haha <laughs> isn't that funny um, you can use these sometimes these will be immediate sometimes there will be things you can hold so at the end of your turn you will count up however many calories you have 369 to feed yourself, which is two. So now I have 700 left to spend. And if you look here, if you couldn't beat a predator, it takes 200 to flee. I can reproduce for 500, which is get another egg. So let's say these two are available. I have 700. I could put one egg in the nursery. Remember, it's safe until my next turn. And then for 300, just pretend like I had an extra 300 left. I can then mutate, which is take one of these. If I draw a body part, like another head, I just pick which one I want to discard the other one. Otherwise, I can add this. And this one gives me one to speed, one to attack, but minus two to defense. And it costs an upkeep of 100 each turn. And it's a shark fin. So I would just kind of put this right here. And as you can see, my dinosaur is already changing. And let's say... You no, know, I got some tiger claws down the path. Some, some way I earned that. You can see my guy is changing. If for any reason why you can't feed the calories, let me let me kind of zoom in on this a little bit. If for some reason I can't keep up the calories, let's say at the end of my turn I only had a 300, and it would require me two, three, six here, then I have to start eating myself. So then I would eat this, cannibal, cannibalize myself, which is really bizarre. And this would give me 300. I, if I cannibalize this for myself, I get 300 plus 300, I have 600, and I only need 300 to feed now. So I no longer have to pay this requirement, just this. That leaves me 300 left over to spend. If I have any cards that I can't spend for whatever reason, you can keep them in your stomach until the next turn, and you would get them. So there are some cards that will come out that make you lose them. At its heart, the game is just a take that. Um, and if you look right here on the board, it'll kind of tell you what you do on the turn. It's very easy. You hunt, you draw jungle cards to your speed, consume your prey, upkeep body parts, cannibalize if necessary, use your calories to reproduce or mutate, or you can attack somebody and store up to four unused body parts in your stomach. Now, if you want to attack somebody, your attack just has to be higher than their defense. If you do, you get to steal a body part or an ache from them. That's really the entire game. So that's Velociraptor Cannibalism. The only addition to the game is this Mythos expansion, which just adds uh, more of the player maps, which I already showed you. It adds, let's make this in focus for you, some extra cards, prey cards, and predator cards. I already just added those all in. I don't think it takes anything away. There's new mechanics other than the cards themselves and how they work. So it's nice to have if you like the Cthulhu, and that's pretty much what it adds is just a few more cards. buy this game okay this isn't an 
and or this is an and fans of dinosaurs who like take that who don't mind luck and huge swings in games you need all four of those maybe go throw off the dinosaur thing you know you have to like take that you get to be okay with big and swings in the game either way and luck you will lose based on luck and not anything that you did if you're okay with that then this is the kind of game maybe the munchkin crowd who went a little bit of a step up in like the humor that's in this game uh, this is not a game for me this is not a style of game that i enjoy um I do like some, like Skull Fire on Mount Wizard Bone, whatever it is. That was fun, and it's a lot of luck based, but there's some things you can do. All the limited choices, some things you can do. You know, those jungle cards coming out, Prey, Predator, where you can fight them or not, is, is really luck based. It can totally screw you. Um, I see somebody get screwed like three out of five rounds, and it's, it's just not fun to play. And, you, and, and really, the rich get richer in this game. I mean, if you can build up a good dinosaur. And you get the right jungle pools where you will be able to get the calories you need to maintain. You can really fend off those attacks. And going first in the last round can be really tough. Because other people just pick apart you, eat your body parts. By the time the last person goes, they can just steal your eggs. And you're just kind of out of it. So, um, I don't know. I don't think it's a very, I think it's a very well produced game. But probably not a very fun game. Unless you're okay with those things that I said. The last Raptor Cannibalism going to be a pass for me. Purge, it'll be leaving my home. I'm going to show you the components for Velociraptor Cannibalism. You are going to get a um, pretty comical looking thing. You see this dinosaur with a turtle shell, Cthulhu here with bunny ears. This one has goggles and rockets. This just shows that your game is not going to be very serious, but the artwork is very cute. I really like the artwork. I really like the components in the game for the most part. They look really good. You're going to get a rule book that is very... Um, I, I don't like the rule book. I like, the colors are nice. Some good things about it. I just felt like the game is much simpler than this rule book makes it out to be. Here are the rules of the My Mythos expansion that comes with it. Um, I pretty much recommend just throwing those in right away. You are going to get a number of characters here. Uh, lots of air in the box. If you need oxygen for any reason, it's a cheap place to get it. Uh, for the most part, they're all going to be the same. So you're going to get Robotron 2000, Fleet Captain Morgan, Iggy, if you like Iggy. And here's old Randolph. He's Crazy Bones. There's Sprinkles. And really what matters is these three spaces right here. So pretty much they're all going to be the same. You get Julian, who is Cthulhu. Cold Cuts. He's a cold denio. He has a cigarette coming out of his mouth. Here is Brian. This is what you thought he would look like. You get Ace. Grandpa Theobald. Huh. Mortimer. He's got a weird expression on his face. And <laughs> this creepy tail. And, of course, Reginald, who has a monocle and likes to wear a bow tie wherever he goes. Um, you can see these are very, very colorful. The artwork is different, but they're all the same. Three, 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 three. You're gonna get a timer that can be used during the game if somebody's taking too long. You are going to get these cardboard eggs. These are your victory points for the game. You'll be stealing these and fighting over these. Uh, the cardboard is really thick, very nice, uh, as nice the components are, I'm a little surprised that you got cardboard here, but it is nice. You are going to have a number of cards. You're going to have climate cards. Now, these are kind of like event cards that will happen during the game. You will play with a number of these, and they will just kind of randomize things more than they already are. And then you're going to get a number of meat locker cards. And the meat locker cards are just going to be uh, different body parts, really, that you can add and it's going to change your stats, if you will. So, you know, heads and legs and shelves. So this is what's going to make your guy change up a little bit. And these are all really good quality cards, and uh, they're really nice, and they shuffle well. Uh, the components are really actually kind of good in this. And here are the jungle cards. Now, these jungle cards, which I keep in a baggie, these, what have I done here? 
These are the things that you'll interact with. I'll show you a few of these. So this is the witch. She's a predator. Some honey you can get. You'll prey and predator at the top. So, uh, and some of these will just be events. So there's a hydra for predator. And I have all mixed in with the mythos in here because there's really no reason to not. There's some rotting flesh. Uh, that's a prey. See, and here's an event. Stub toe, minus one during your next turn, receive one penalty to the speed. Zero p speed, a little bit. There's a T-Rex that can come out. Little cute penguin. Stinky shrimp. Ooh, a cupcake, I'm hungry. Uh, so these are just kind of like random event cards and what you'll be fighting, things that jump out in the jungle at you. But what's gonna pull in it? So you have two stack or three stacks, I guess, if you include the climate cards. Uh, you have the meat locker cards, the jungle cards, the eggs. A little timer and the player mat. So that's kind of the So I'm going to show you how to play this by looking at this um, card here, if you will. So what you'll do, let me see if I can get this on here. So here's the player board that you'll be using for the majority of your game, which will have the turn listed. So each round, you'll have a new climate card that will come out and something random will happen. Truce. No one can attack another player this round. Here's another one. The cost of reproduction is lower to 300 uh, calories during this round. So just different things will happen. Some of them can be worse than others. Here's the Garden of Eden. Upkeep cost reduced by 100 calories for each body part. So this is just random that will come out. And then if you kind of look on here, you're gonna see a breakdown what happens. You can draw jungle cards to catch your prey. You draw a number to your speed, okay? Eat, you consume it, upkeep. Act, use your calories to reproduce or mutate and digest store up to four. So as you get calories, 200 to run away from somebody, 500 to reproduce, and 300 to mutate. So let me explain what all that means. So what you'll do is, if your speed is three, you will draw three jungle cards. And they will either be a prey, event, or predator, as I showed you in the components. These are preys. These are all pretty easy. So I'm just gonna count up my calories, because they're preys, three, two, two. So I would have 700 calories to spend. Now, if I had been in a fight with somebody, let's say I would have drawn uh, a predator out. Let me grab a predator here. If I had grabbed this predator, I would have needed 10 attack. Can you see that there, that 10 at the top? So I would need 10 attack in order to beat him, and that can be either my attack or my defense. I don't know why it does that, but it can be. I have only three, so I couldn't beat this guy. So I have to spend 200 of my calories, let's say, I had to get rid of this card to flee. Now I don't have to fight him. So that leaves me with 500 calories left to spend. Now what I can spend on is reproducing and getting an egg. An egg is 500. And that would just go here in my nest and cannot be stolen from me from this round. After the round, it comes back to my turn. This kind of scoots over somewhere on your board and can now be stolen from you. And if you collect these eggs, people will steal them from you. But they can't as long as it's in your nursery. And then you will uh, act which is what I'm doing now, I can mutate, or say I didn't want to buy this egg, I want to spend 300 bucks to get a new body part. And the reason why I would do this, because it makes my uh, ability better. So I have two, or two extra on shell, so I got three plus two, so my shell would be now five, which is my defense. If anybody attacks me, they have to attack with at least a five now if I had this. Uh, this is how many calories I have to pay each round to keep it. And snow crab legs, double the calories gain when this item is consumed. So any item that has this little marker on it, um, I would be able to double the item consumed. So this would go here. And let's say I go back another round. So the next round, I would draw three cards again. I just want to kind of illustrate how this works. And luckily, they're all prey. So I have two, four, six. Well, I have to pay 200 calories because I have this leg here. So this automatically spent, leaving me 400 to spend. Well, I can't reproduce because it costs 500. So I will mutate. Ooh, getting uh, a mouth. Great. So this gives me two more attacks. So if I place this here, I now have three speed, five attack, and five defense. But each round is going to cost me 100 calories, to and this gives me crocodile jaws. So this will go here, thus changing my guy. Completely luck. If I had got another leg, I can only fill in as many spaces. If I get another head here, let me show you. So if I get another head on my next turn, I can either discard this head or replace this one that I have depending on what I want. Do I want one attack and one defense or do I have two attack and no defense bonus? But then you have to think about your upkeep 
and what kind of bonus it may give you here work with your other cards. But for the most part, it's just a random draw of what you're getting. After a certain number of rounds, whoever has the most eggs or victory points, some of these body parts will give you victory points, a few of them will, not a lot, um, is the winner of the game. That's pretty much how it works. The only difference is a couple of things. If you don't use your calories because you have nothing to spin them on or have an odd number, you keep them here in your stomach until the next turn. And the most you can keep in your stomach is four. Now you can attack other people, like I said, that's always an option. You just have to make sure your attack score, plus whatever you have here, is higher than their attack score, plus whatever they have, or their defense score. Um, it's really just a random, what do I have? If you don't draw the right jungle cards, you don't get enough prey, somebody can really destroy you. Especially if they build up an attack and just steal every egg that you get. Um, but that's how you play Velociraptor cannibalism.